above, along the river wire, police in search for a body. They received a call just before midday from dog walkers who noticed something or someone in the water. An underwater search team and specialist officers entered the river. It wasn't long before they resurfaced and recovered a body. In a statement, Lancashire Police said no formal identification has yet been carried out, so we are unable to say whether this is Nicola Bully at this time. Procedures to identify the body are ongoing. We are currently treating the death as unexplained. Hello all, and welcome back to Mind Juice. A bit of a somber reconvening for us here today, given the recent developments that arose late morning, early afternoon yesterday, Sunday. We learned that the local police force received a call at 11.36 a.m. after a tip-off by members of the public led them to an area, wherein it was confirmed that a body was found just past a sharp bend in the river wire close to Rockcliffe Road, within a mile where Nicola Boley was last seen, or known to be. The current SIO of the case, Becky Smith, was observed at the scene along with police divers whom were seen searching the area of undergrowth at the river's edge, several meters below the banking on Rockcliffe Road. From afar, looking at the scene, there did appear to be an old dead tree which had fallen in or had been resting in the river for quite some time, decaying amongst the reeds, obscuring the river's edge. No formal identification has been completed, although the family has been informed However, it officially remains unclear whether the remains found belong to that of the missing 45-year-old dog walker, Nicola Bully, whom went missing 23 days ago. Procedures to identify the findings are ongoing. They are currently treating the death as unexplained. I think it is likely that, you know, um, unfortunately this could be her. Um, one quick thing I want to share with everyone um, it's a bit perplexing for what it's worth. Um, the infamous bench apparently has a number 23 on it. Uh, Sunday, where we believe she may have been found and recovered, marked the 23rd day. And I'm sure many of you are aware of this, but I wanted to share it quick before I get into what I'm going to cover here today. The individual who captured this apparently was going on a stroll along the countryside and was parked just down the road on Radcliffe. Seemingly quite confused, shall we say, as to what was taking place. No. I we'll caught it there, mate. I we'll caught it there. Yeah. Sorry. At the end of the lane, mate, on the main road. Right, okay. I went for a walk in the countryside and I've come back this way. So What's going on? You're just going straight through. Straight to the car, mate, yeah. You can just go straight through. Yeah, yeah no worries. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's like the same what it is, I, I came through a minute ago. Yeah, I know, I saw. My car's there, so I've obviously gone round. I've gone over the bridge without thinking I've gone over the river. Right. I've gone all the way down there, and the road goes off the river, doesn't it? It goes away. Right, okay. So I'm like, I'm wrong side. Right, okay, mate. I don't mind waiting, so, but I need yeah, to. Just... I literally went down there about 10, 15 minutes, right. realised the road goes away from the river. It's but if I just go. Through, right, no, I'm, looking. Right. <laughs> I'm from Blackpool. I'm not from... I am from round here, but not from this actual. Right, okay. Local locals. So I appreciate so that. Just down here, there's some uh, four police officers. Yeah. You just wait. Yeah, you know, behind them, mate. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Make your way back round to your okay. so you. Okay. Yeah, I'm either side. I'm by the school area. So I'm coming over the bridge. I come along the river here. Not too far. If I'm, if I'm honest with you, I'm not familiar with the area. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, What's going on down there? I walked down. He wouldn't let me pass. We've got all the road off. We've just been told to block it off. So if you just oh. go, if you keep going down, the road's blocked again, but they'll let you through. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Pay very close attention to this number 23 on the bench where Nicola was last seen. The news reporter, the guy, the Asian guy, he's got a photo of that 23 this morning and he's texted his mate and said, like, imagine she was found today being the 23rd day. How weird would that be? And then it's happened. Yeah. That's what I would have thought. I wouldn't have thought she'd have gone in here three weeks later, turns up a mile downstream. No, They've searched it extensively. So, so somebody reported it. Somebody called it in today, right? They, they saw the body floating or whatever. So... But it would have been floating presumably all morning. It wouldn't have just popped up. At, no, right? It would have been all morning. So, and then presumably yesterday, it would have also been somewhere, and people would have seen it. I mean, there's been hundreds of people all up and down here. So, it's definitely suspicious, in my opinion, from what, from what Weird, I think. Isn't it? Because as well, see. 
Now, I am not into all of the conspiracy stuff, but one has to admit the 23 on the 23rd day, and I guess you can even go so far as to say the year 2023 is a bit strange. Heck, to even make your hair stand up on the back of your neck, 23 three times is 66. The bench, the day she was found, and the year. Now, I don't dig in and try to find this stuff. It's my brain automatically just connects and makes that stuff. I'm just sharing it because it's just odd, okay? Again, I'm not into the conspiracy stuff. It's just it's just weird. To me, I guess the way I'm comfortable perceiving it is that if, in fact, this is Nicola, which unfortunately appears to be the case, the 23 represents to me, on its face a positive spiritual enlightening to let the world know she is now okay. She is home. Um, no more suffering. If in fact there was an accident or self fate, that is, I mean, how else do you process this? It's so odd. Like really, I hate even going into stuff like that, but when it just slaps right in front of your face, I just might as well share, you know, for it to be anything other than, than just mere coincidence it would have to be intentional which is even more bonkers to me that this seemingly never came up anywhere until the 23rd day further if it did have a connection which again i do not believe it does such is more like something one would expect in the plot of a movie i.e or a signature serial type of event like a uh, impression of a serial perpetrator which I never ever thought was the case and still don't but hey one can never really know i guess further i mean we'll have to wait out for the autopsy and the cause of death um let's just hope it's nothing suspicious at this point if it is her it's sad that she's gone from the world but let's just hope that it is an accident that would be the best case scenario honestly um Let's just hope that it's nothing else. I mean, obviously, it'd be great if she was still with us, but... Further, this dude's behavior is a bit weird. It's off-putting. Now, I'm not going to be critical of him, but I want to comment on a few things, and then we'll move on. Let me be clear. Again, I'm not insinuating anything, and the reason I keep reiterating, because I don't want to go down rabbit holes, I hate that when stuff like that happens, but... Just something I found intriguing and wanted to share. The way I create these episodes and this content is me wanting to provide beneficial progressive insight, investigation type of approach. I'm going to be wrong sometimes, right? But I want to create a forum where you can join me as if you're sitting next to me and we bounce thoughts off and share it. You know, it's not meant to be entertainment. It's not meant to be anything other than finding answers for the right reasons, okay? I just want to make that clear. Um, so this is just something I found intriguing. If you have followed my coverage of this case up until this point, I have used this individual's videos numerous times. I mean, the walking pass, the upper field gate peak hole, if you remember in the upper field theory that I had a while back, the soft ground off in the woods that he had found. So he is indeed one of the on the ground sleuths whom have been videoing the entire thing as it has developed. One thing that did strike me as odd when I first discovered his page about two and a half weeks ago was that his channel is simply called Nicola Bully Case. I remember thinking to myself, because I have Mind Juice True Crime, I like to cover all cases, cold cases, current, from an investigative standpoint, right? I thought to myself, why create a channel simply for one case in focus? Because once it's through, then what? It becomes a scrapbook of your investigation and work. To me, that's just a little too fixated of an obsession, I guess. I won't go any further. Heck, I don't even know the guy. And quite frankly, I've appreciated his work throughout as he has provided insight on the ground that I would not have otherwise had the opportunity to observe. So I appreciate that. Further, the clips you just witnessed, and I'll add a couple here at the end to reiterate the point. My car's over there, mate. I'm just on a stroll and a walk along the countryside. What's going on? What happened? 
Okay, so this is a guy who's created videos along the footpath, going off in the woods, finding soft ground, walking along the river, looking through the upper field gate, videoing from across where the derelict house is, going down the caravan pass and the back roads, like I had said. And now seemingly, which he raises the 23rd day, he's parked by the school came across the bridge, walked along the river, and tells the individual cop, what's going on? I parked down there. What's happening? There's no way in hell it's just a coincidence that you happen to be walking along there. To me, it's like you're putting yourself in a position to be the first person. You know, like that journalism. They create stuff to happen so they can be the first one to catch it. What are the chances that he's just walking out there and she's found right there? Like, what the hell? Like, that just, it's so weird to me. I don't understand. And then he asked the female officers, what's going on? What's going on? Heading to the car. He told both sets of officers he was going back to his car. Um, and again, references over by the school, school coming over the bridge along the river. These are the facts of the nickel of bully going missing. You know, parks at the school over the bridge, right? So he tells him he's going to his car. But he then adds another video where he doesn't go to his car. He goes into the field across from where her body's being pulled up by the fence. And if you look at it, I'll show it here. It's like a pasture field. It's not even a walking path. And he proceeds to lean on the fence and record the whole damn thing. I'm not going to show it here because on this channel, like no offense to him, he can do what he wants. But just ethically, I don't feel right showing that. I don't even like watching it. Um, it's interesting to see, but like I'm not going to publish that to the world. Like That's just not fair. I mean... She's got kids out there. She, I'm, that's, I'm not going to be the source of that. So if you're interested, you can go over there and check it out. But that's not going to happen here. But yet, he tells them he's going to his car and he goes up and records it. Like, that's just weird to me, right? Um, then he returns back to the scene of the bench. And he mentions the 23, as I showed you. Chatting it up with the other two suggesting the 23 idea to them, claiming that he had first heard it earlier that day from a reporter whom texted his mate saying, wouldn't that be weird if she was found that day? She was. And you just so happened to be walking by a reporter who said it and texting his buddy. Like, are you kidding? And then you have, I, I didn't. it's too weird. I hope you're following me, Okay. I don't know. Is it a serial thing? I'm not saying it is, but if it ends up being foul play, I'm still locked on that theory I had in my last video. I'm not going to go there right now. I really am. But I respect if I'm wrong, and I will apologize. I do. I am humble. You know, um, but I'm getting off track. My bad. Um, he just happened to be walking along the countryside um, where she was found. Then the dude in his conversation with the couple suggests... Somebody called it in today, right? They saw the body floating or whatever. It would have been floating presumably all morning. It wouldn't have just popped up. People, we know that if she was there that day, which I think, I'm not going there. If she was there that day with Willow, okay? There would have been a time where she was on the grass, then there's a time where she goes into the river, and at some point between that time and now, she would have popped up. Okay? I have no clue when. But for him to say, it wouldn't have just popped up, it would have been there all morning, and then presumably yesterday it would have been there also somewhere. Oh, what about the day before that, or the day before that, or the day before that? Like, I don't understand. You get what I'm saying? He just happens to be walking in this area on the 23rd day when she's found. But yet when he records it, he plays dumb and asks the cops like he has no clue what the hell is going on. And then he goes and talks to these two people back at the scene and says, well, she was presumably popped up all morning and had to have been there yesterday too. Did you put her there? Sorry, I'm not alleging it's him. This is my mind. I'm just sharing it. Sorry, buddy, if you're listening. I'm not trying to come down on you, but this is just my brain at play here. It's just weird, dude. Like, I don't understand how you put yourself in that position and then say things like that. 
you know? And then presumably yesterday it would have been there too somewhere. People would have seen it. There's been hundreds of people all up and down here. Yeah, there's hundreds, been hundreds of people up and down that damn river. Search parties three, four, five times as we have seen. January 27th, 28th, 29th, all the way up the last freaking 22 days there's been people up and down that dang river. But for you to suggest that you were in that area on a countryside stroll and have no clue what's going on and then go back and say that she popped up had been there all morning and definitely yesterday too oh man that's so weird to me i don't get it i tell you what if um it ends up coming back as foul play this is really going to be an interesting avenue right up there along with the, how my last video ended i mean seriously but i'm not going there right now i just thought i would share you get the point all right let's move on all right, everyone, moving on. Sorry, I kind of went on a rant there on that last portion. Um, I've mapped out here for the where the harness, phone, and willow were at the bench there, up in the, down in the lower field, and I've mapped. She was, if this is Nicola, okay, I'm presuming it is, unfortunately. She was found over here. And I have some good photos to show you um, from the perspective of people walking, how you could possibly see her and I'll get to that but this would be if if what actually happened was she chose cell fate or there was an accident and she did fall in down where we know the famous bench in the hill here across from the derelict house okay if that's what happened um and then she went this would have been the route if she was in the water um, I do think there's going to be a ton of answers, obviously, in the cause of death and the autopsy. Um, of course, it's officially announced now as unexplained, which is just boilerplate. But we'll find out more answers as the investigation goes along. But at least it's getting somewhere. Um, so this is what happened, um, which is weird to me because they did all the searching you know, for all that time, you know, Peter Falding, I'm not sure if he searched all the way up there. I don't think so. Um, but, you know, they're definitely moved the search all the way to the bay. So if you follow this here out to the estuary, right, make this a little bit easier for you. They did end up, so this is a little bit small here. They did end up, you know, going and searching the bay there, which you can see this is the, uh, I took the labels off. The Morta Combe Bay or whatever. Um, so they did go and search out here. Presuming, I mean, so they did search this up and down, up and down, numerous times. Not even just once, you know. Balding even said three, four times his crew did. You know they did it routinely. So if she was in that water, you would think she would have been found. Now, yes, there's a lot of underbrush. And... It's not like she was wearing a flamingo pink outfit to where she was stuck out like a sore thumb. If, she, if it's black, navy blue, whatever have you. She's in darker colored items. So if she's going to be under an underbrush or anything like that, you know, and not on the bottom as was suggested, um, which she would have been at first, it would have been harder to see. But if she was along this path here, this is would have been the route, okay? So, you got the weir, which here, um, I did look into it a little bit. Water coming out on the weir can cause a circulation of water known as a hydraulic jump. The hydraulic jump can cause swimmers to underwater. So, basically, there's just like an artificial current that creates, which the water wasn't that high, but, you know, with the vulnerabilities that were released, let's say she was under the influence to some degree. Um, you know, some people say you wouldn't drink that early in the morning, um, if you know alcoholics, you never know. Sometimes it gets really bad. I'm not alleging that's what happened, but given that the vulnerabilities are out there, if that was the case, something like a current could could affect, you know, and if she's inebriated, it's going to affect, you know, the body's ability with oxygen and whatnot and would cause drowning a lot quicker than someone who is sober. Um, and furthermore, it's winter, you know, that water is going to be freezing cold. That's not going to help, right? Mixing alcohol with cold water is a 
very bad cocktail, um, especially being in a thick coat, right? But she's a good swimmer, and it's not that deep, right? I, I still don't, you know, I'm not going to deny the facts as they are. We don't know what happened, but, I mean, given off that video on this suspicious character, or in the video like I suggested last time, she very easily could have been placed here, right, after the fact. Um, but let's respect the case where it is now, and I hope it's an accident. I really do. Hopefully this doesn't get any darker than it is. Um, first thing I thought today when I saw this, you know, she's got a six- and nine-year-old daughter. I'll be a little personal here. I lost my father when I was eight years old, and when I heard that today... I had a flashback back to that. I remember it very vividly. The cops coming knocking on the door. I feel for those girls, man. If Oh, man. It's tough. You know, it's something you never forget. So, this is heavy stuff. It's really heavy stuff. Um, but I hope um, that it is an accident. With that said, presuming this is the route she would have went, right? So, the weird here that we can see in a lot of the videos could have caused a current... A, uh, current or a struggle there i'm not saying it did it's just possible somehow the searchers missed it you know if we're going with the logic that she did fall in or whatever um but there are so many bends that come around getting snagged yes she got snagged up there um but one would think that day you know she's going to make it quite far because they did intensive focus in here but you can even see how shallow it is in here. I mean, look at these sandbars here. That's going to be a perturbance. Um, then, of course, you got the bridge. As soon as the incident hit, this was like a media hot spot. People come and tying ribbons, looking this way, looking that way. So, I mean, she had, if she went this way, she had to have went through here before all the intense focus and all the eyeballs were in this area, right? So I would imagine she falls in that morning, she had to have went. She had to have cruised right through here with that first day. She had to have. With all the focus that was here, someone would have seen something, right? But then you get here, and look how tight this is, you know? Um, and again, I think the focus would have been so heavily looked into the first couple of days. They're going to be checking this stuff. And you can even see the how shallow this is. Look at this. Of course, it, this is not the same water level as it was that day. I understand that. Um, but still, you can see the the bedding, the bedrock, the geography of the land here. Um, she would have had to hit, go through that bend there. And then again, up here. And also, you're having these houses here. Um, everybody's going to be keeping a lookout. There's just It's not like it's a straight flow down. I mean, look at this. It's like a snake. You got one bend, two bend. You know, three, four, and then it gets tight and narrow, like threading the needle, and then up, right? Um, which, if you look at this, the first thing that stuck out to me, um, if I put this, first thing that stuck out to me, and yes, I don't have this scripted, so I'm sorry if it doesn't sound like absolutely perfect if I repeat myself. But look here, if you look at this flow here, down this thing, look at this, look at this. She's found, like, smack dab next to a road. Now, that doesn't mean anything, but I'm saying that if we find out there's foul play, it's not a coincidence in that scenario she'd be dumped. It's right next to a road, okay? It's different than if she was found right here. Well, then you could say, oh, this house or whoever, business. no. It's ironic that she's right smack dab next to the road. And then you count in the story with the dude that led this video off. Apparently was just taking a walk to the countryside. I parked up there, mate. I mean, it's just weird, okay? But yeah, look at that. Right next to the damn road. None of this other stuff. It goes right down the alley, okay? You can see how shallow shallow it is um, along the way there. It's going to be you know, extremely cold. Like I said, she's not wearing flamingo pink. Um, there is areas here where it does widen up, you know, but again, there's just so many hooks and places she can get caught up on along the way. Um, but then if we go up here, right, this is, I 
thought would be good to share. You guys will like this. So we're presuming those two individuals that called it in those dog walkers, okay? So yesterday morning, they're walking this way, right? Just to give you guys an eyesight, because I this really added perspective for me. They're walking along here, right? Okay, so look at this. Under this tree brush here is where the body was found, which we believe to be Nicola, okay? And then that guy was up over here taking video. Um, this is where she was found. So you can you can picture these two individuals on a Sunday stroll. They're walking along, right? Look at this. So you wonder, how could they see it? How could they... Look, it's very obvious how she did pop up here now. It's very clear how you... Heck, even someone in a car driving down, you could see it. You know? I mean, look at this. Even as you get closer. If any part of her was sticking out... And of course, they're going to be looking. You know? Look at this. I mean, that's how she was witnessed by those two in the public walking along here. And you can see it clear as day. And you know this is the exact spot because if you look at the actual pictures, you can see this building with the white top in the distance, right? This is the definitive tree that she got snagged up on in the reeds and whatnot. You can see from their perspective that's how it would be. I just thought you guys would find that interesting. Um, coming around that bend there. Just as you just as you break that turn there, it becomes extremely obvious how they were able to see the body that they did. Right? Not quite yet. There we go. And then even if they didn't notice it right away, this whole little pass that would take minutes to go on, they're going to see it. Right? That makes so much sense. But with that said, look how obvious that is. You have search crews and boats and experts actually in the water with the intent and focus to be looking out. How could they not see that? Obviously, she wasn't there the whole time, right, guys? She she made her way down. But again, it's shallow. They're looking for her. They have divers underwater. They have sonar technology. How did they not find her if she was in there that entire time? And that's the thing, too. Um, if she was in the water the entire time, that's 23 days, and not to be morbid, but 23 days, the water's that cold. She's going to be preserved to some extent, you know? It's not like she's, use a U.S. reference, it's not like she's in the hot, swampy waters of Florida, you know, which are going to speed up the process. Um, so she would be quite preserved. So, I mean, they're going to know right away that it's female, that it's her likely, and obviously she had an outfit on that everybody knew to look for. Um... But yeah, I thought I would show that there to you. But all the bends and in the turns, that's interesting. Um, and I also find it very odd that this just so happens to be the one spot along her entire track. If she did fall in the river and go all the way down, that happens to be right next to the road. I mean, and you know, someone's not going to do this in broad daylight. No, it would be someone that probably came at nighttime dump the body like that guy said probably yesterday too it's someone that's going to drop it and like i said if it's someone like that maybe they're aiming for day 23 you know what i'm saying oh man that's crazy to think about hopefully it's just an accident um but yeah right next to the road everywhere else i mean it could just be a coincidence too but the whole journey there's really nowhere else where you would go in so if you let's say that it wasn't a falling in, but you were going to stage it, like I suggested. Anybody at this point, you might as well put her in the river because to live, go with that theory, right? Look, right next to the road. You can't really do it anywhere here. It's The further you get in, it's closer to town. It's perfect if, if, if you're going to stage that, right? I mean, and then she would have gotten down to this little nook here. I mean, she would have been... It would have taken her a while to get her on this bend. By the time the tide row, you know, getting stuck and going, it would have taken, if she would have made it out to the estuary, it would have taken some time. I mean, it would have taken, like that Roger Jones case, it probably would have taken a couple months. Which is so interesting. Like, two weeks into the case, they're sending their experts out all the way into the estuary. I mean, come, look at their, look at the geography of the river. There's no way she's like, 
you know, riding a jet ski down the damn thing. I mean, come on. You know, like that's, there's just so many things that are going to get in their way and stop her. It just, it just blows my mind. Their, their logic behind the whole search just blows my mind. Um, but yeah, I think those are the only points I was going to raise right next to the road. I wanted to show that to you guys there. Um, the weir, she definitely could have gotten over that. Um, but there's so many narrow passages and so many like places where she would have been hung up on the sandbar. You know, in that Roger Jones case, they weren't even looking for him because the one guy that he was riding the bike with was like unconscious and he wasn't even able to tell them that he had somebody else on the bike. So he was able to like travel for quite some time before they even knew that they were looking for somebody. Whereas in this case, it was that day. Yes, there's a time gap between 9.33 and 10.50, but they had people that day looking, you know. I mean, there was eyes, so that's why I suggested on the bridge. I mean, she would have had to have gotten underneath this bridge right off the bat because after that point, there would have been people looking, you know, unless it was in the, you know, 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Who knows? But, um, yeah, um, let's just hope for some positive answers. I hope everyone's doing well. Um and I hope you've enjoyed the comment. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I would expect a press conference here one of these days, probably today. Um, but until next time, take care, everybody. Mind juice out.